Aquarius souls, welcome to your reading. I am so grateful that you are here. My name is Nikki and I use my clairaudient and channeling abilities to help people find the magic within. If you're new here, welcome. I channel messages from creative expression such as movies, books, and music. And I'm excited and honored to be doing this reading for you today. For this series, I will be channeling messages from Kiki Palmer Quotes. Kiki Palmer is a famous actress, and you may have noticed her from the film Nope, which is Jordan Pill's new film. I was not a fan of the film Nope, but I genuinely love Us and Get Out, so I was excited to see what Jordan Pill's new movie entailed. I was very drawn to Kiki Palmer in this film. She exudes some sassiness and some very major divine feminine energy. So I thought it would be cool to see if she had any cool quotes to channel some messages from. And when I was researching on Google, I came across an article that was called 30 Quotes from Kiki Palmer that are inspirational. And as I was reading through them, I noticed she really does have some words of wisdom. So I'm excited to bring these readings to you in this way. This is actually the first time I have created any content in two weeks because I have been healing from COVID. And from what I gather, a lot of light workers on the planet right now have been getting sick or have got COVID. And it's because we are ascending. We're moving through very dense energies right now. So there's a lot of repressed emotions and toxic energy coming up to be purged, purified, and detoxed out of our system. So if you are experiencing this right now, it is for the highest good of all. How this reading will work, Aquarius, I have channeled 12 different quotes from Kiki Palmer that she personally said herself, not quotes from movies. And I wrote them on slips of paper and put them in this little tin. I will let spirit choose one. We'll see what your channeled message is. And then we'll do an intuitive card reading to get some additional messages. So let's see which Kiki Palmer quote has a message for you, Aquarius. We have I don't feel the need to define nothing to nobody because I'm always changing. Why say that I'm this or that when I might not be tomorrow? I'm going to follow my own feelings and my own heart. One more time, Aquarius. I don't feel the need to define nothing to nobody because I'm always changing. Why say that I'm this or that when I might not be tomorrow? I'm going to follow my own feelings and my own heart. The first deck of cards that we are using, Aquarius, is the Zombie Tarot deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your additional messages for my Aquarius souls? We have the King of Swords. Next, we're going to pull a card from the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? We have the Phoenix. Zigging this energy, Aquarius. <laughs> Next, we'll pull a card 
from the Keepers of Light deck. Thank you, Spirit. What else? Kathumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. And your final card will come from the Moonology deck. Thank you, Spirit. What are your final messages for my Aquarius souls? A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. <clears throat> okay, Aquarius, let's reflect on your quote one more time. I don't feel the need to define nothing to nobody because I'm always changing. So what Spirit is showing me is that you're having this sense of renewal in terms of your self-worth and how you define yourself and knowing that that is what is most important and that you don't always feel the same every single day. That's what the channel message is saying from the quote here. I don't feel the need to define nothing to nobody because I'm always changing. And that's the truth. On our soul's journey, we are always growing and evolving. We never stay the same. There's always something that happens that will trigger an awakening of healing within us or trigger healing of emotions within us. It's just a matter of what we chose to experience before we came to planet Earth. So you're in this energy right now, Aquarius, where you are understanding that you don't need to define anything to anybody about yourself because you know you're learning, you're growing, you're always changing, and that will be a constant in your life. It won't stay fixed. Why say that I'm this or that when I might not be tomorrow? So this is a very good indicator of like how you feel one day. One day you might be feeling happy and then the next day something could happen that completely shakes up your whole atmosphere, right? And you wouldn't be happy depending on the situation that took place. It is okay to not be happy all the time. Like I'm kind of hearing something about toxic positivity going on and Spirit is really bringing through a message here of feeling how you feel when you feel it because all of your emotions are valid. You don't have to put on a smile for someone else if you are not feeling happy or feeling positive. It is okay to have those days where you feel negative emotions. Those are valid emotions for you to feel. And there's a purpose for that. So however you feel from one day to the next, that is what matters the most, okay? And that you feel what you're feeling and not feeling some way because you think somebody else thinks you should, okay? It matters how you truly, honestly, genuinely feel. I'm going to follow my own feelings and my own heart. So there's an energy here of trusting yourself more not looking outside of yourself for the answers so you have a very strong intuition the first two cards in your reading Aquarius we have the king of swords and we have the phoenix so with the phoenix and coming into the king of swords energy you have dealt with some very difficult things in your life where you have gained a lot of experience and wisdom. And with this King of Swords energy, I am feeling very strongly that you are a protector and also a provider for those that you love. 
people that you genuinely love and trust in your life, they are protected by you. They feel protected by you. They feel nurtured by you. And I'm seeing with the man on the card here, see how he's sitting in the chair and he has a rifle. He is ready to kill zombies. This is a zombie tarot deck. So he is ready to defend his family from any zombies that would try to barricade through the door and harm the ones that he loves. This is an energy that you have, Aquarius. You will defend those that you love till the end of time. And that's just who you are. You love your family. You love your friends. And you will be there for them until the end of time. With the Phoenix, there has been some tremendous healing that has taken place within you right now and in your life. This is the Phoenix rising from the ashes. And not only do you defend those that you love, but you're coming into this energy where you're learning how to defend yourself and not take crap from anyone. It's a very powerful energy of, uh, like I'm seeing a balance of divine feminine and divine masculine energy. A lot of healing is taking place as you rise into the best version of yourself, Aquarius. But one thing that is getting in the way is trusting your feelings. That's why we have Kathumi here, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So Spirit is showing me that you have a lot of questions that you that you ask. And it's okay to be inquisitive. It's okay to ask people for advice. It's okay to do those types of things. But Spirit wants you to know that all the questions that you have, all the things that you have been looking outside of yourself for the answer, it's already within you. Spirit is saying to trust yourself more because I'm seeing these situations where something will come up, an experience, and you already feel on an energetic level that it's not for you. There's something off about the energy. Spirit is saying when that happens to trust it because that is not happening for no reason. It is happening for you to listen to your intuition. So when you're feeling vibes around a certain person that don't feel good, pay attention to the red flag, okay? Energy does not lie. And if you are feeling within yourself that something is off about any situation in your life, pay attention to that. Kathumi is saying, you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Trust yourself more, Aquarius. A new romantic cycle begins with a new moon in Libra. So with this card, and it's next to Kathumi, I feel like there is someone in your life who you have been questioning in a romantic way. And I'm seeing there are red flags about this person. And if you are picking up on that, that is also Kathumi saying to trust yourself that what you're feeling is is real it's authentic it's your internal navigation system trying to warn you through your your feelings that's why on this quote here it says i'm going to follow my own feelings and my own heart so if there is someone in your life who you are not 100 percent sure about that is a very good indicator that you need to trust what you are feeling and maybe pull your energy back a little bit, okay? Because I'm seeing when you let go of someone who is not serving you, who is not investing in the relationship as much as you are, that is when a new romantic cycle will come into your life. And I'm being called to tell you a story right now. I had a crush on a guy in college and he liked me too but we could never 
be together because at that time I had a boyfriend and I was in a very serious relationship at that time. But that relationship ended up not panning out and this person, this guy, he came back into my life wanting to see if there was anything between us. <clears throat> and he lived in another state, which was about two hours away from where I live now. And he came down one summer for one night, and we had a really good time. And he was still here the next day, and he asked me to come hang out that night again. So I came out, and when I walked into the restaurant slash bar that he was waiting for me at, he had asked a lot of other friends to come there too because we had a lot of friends in the surrounding area and he was only in town for this weekend, this one weekend. And when I walked in, he was walking down the stairs. He looked at me and walked right past me like I wasn't even there. And I was very confused because we had just had a really good night the night before and I was wondering what was up. And he did this throughout the whole night. He basically ignored me the whole night. And I remember standing in the lobby and he was sitting in this chair, like drinking a beer. And I just remember staring at him, wondering why he wasn't coming over and talking to me. And I could hear my intuition very loud and clear say, are you done with guys like this? Are you going to stay and keep you know, this cycle going, or are you going to see your value, Nikki, and walk out the door? And I said, you know what? I am done with guys like this. I turned around, I walked out of this restaurant, and I drove home. And as I'm driving home, I get a text message from the guy that I left at the bar. He's like, where'd you go? Please come back. And I just completely ignored him. And in that moment, I knew that I had recognized my own value, that that was not worth putting up with. I did not deserve that. And because I recognized my worth and my value and I walked away from someone that was treating me less than I deserved, I met my soulmate, who I'm still with today, a few weeks later. When you let go of what no longer serves you, when you show the universe that you are ready to value yourself and you walk away from those that do not value you, you make space for a soulmate to come in who will give you that love, who will give you that validation, who will give you that support because you're giving it to yourself. It's a reflection of your own self-love when soulmates like that come in, okay? So when you let go of anyone that no longer serves you, that is a new romantic cycle beginning here, okay? I'd like to open up my clear audience and see what else Spirit would like to tell my Aquarius souls. Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing welcome home. So some of you may be purchasing a new home or moving or doing something like that right now, but also welcome home in the sense of a new awakening. And if you've had a spiritual awakening, you understand that the initial awakening is not the only awakening you have. You will have awakenings within awakenings within awakenings. When I had my initial spiritual awakening in 2019. Two years later, I had a kundalini awakening, which intensified everything on an energetic level like no other. I started feeling my emotions more intensely, and if I had any repressed emotions still in my body, those will flare up in very painful ways, which I'm hoping that that's done and over with because that part really sucked. <laughs> but it's also a very beautiful experience because it helps you purge. It's also a very beautiful experience at the same time because it helps you purge and detox 
much quicker things that have been left suppressed or repressed within your system. Any other messages for my Aquarius souls? Thank you, Spirit. I'm hearing that book, A Raisin in the Sun. I have actually never read that book, but there's something very special about that book here. If you've read that book, comment down below if there is some powerful meaning from that book that you experience. I'd be interested in knowing. I, I think that story revolves a lot around race, and it has some very profound messages in it. That's what I'm hearing. There may be some messages in that book, or this could also be a recommendation that Spirit is saying would be good for you to read. What else, Spirit? Thank you. I'm being shown the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, the, they're all brothers. So I feel like Spirit is bringing through something with some of your siblings, whether you have brothers or sisters. There's a camaraderie here that is very important and definitely have some soul family within your family lineage with your siblings is what I'm seeing here. What else are you pointing out about sibling spirit? I'm being shown how some of you like to cook together because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they love pizza, whether they're making it or if they are ordering it. I'm just seeing them like sitting around this pizza. Um, having a dinner night where you get your siblings together, maybe you play some games. If you've been experiencing any conflict, having a fun night of good food and playing games would, would help to bring you closer together. Because a lot of us are here to do ancestral healing, and I'm seeing very strongly that there are some patterns between you and your siblings that have been repeating for many lifetimes that you all decided to help break the patterns in this lifetime. And for a lot of you, I see some of you are the only ones who are spiritually awakened in your family, but don't worry if your siblings have a soul contract to wake up in this lifetime, they will, but we can't force it. And this is also something I am experiencing in my own life with my younger sibling. <laughs> so I understand how that, that feels. Any final messages for my Aquarius soul spirit? Thank you. I'm hearing roulette, so there's something here about taking a chance with something, taking a risk with something, <clears throat> and there's some anxiety and fear around it because if you've ever played the game roulette, it's where you choose either black or red, you choose a number between 1 and 100, I believe, or 50. I'm not quite sure. I've only played it a few times in my life, but it's a game of chance. And Spirit is showing me there's a situation in your life where it's like playing roulette, taking a leap of faith with something, and trusting your internal guidance system as you move through the decision you are making. Okay? There's nothing to fear here, but I do see there are some decisions 
where the unknown is rearing itself in your life right now. And Spirit is saying to not be afraid, to just take a leap of faith, do what you feel is right. Trust what you already know. You already know the right answer within you, so trust it, okay? Because from your quote here, it says, I'm going to follow my own feelings and my own heart. What is your heart telling you, Aquarius? What are your feelings telling you, Aquarius? Not what other people want for you. What do you want? Trust what you want and move in that direction, okay? Because this is your reality, this is your life, and that is all that matters. That is all that I am seeing, Aquarius. If your reading resonated, if you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm excited and honored to have done this reading for you today. If you liked any of the decks of cards I used, I'm linking those in the description box down below as well. I also do a podcast called the Slumber Party Massacre Podcast with four amazing women, my sister Lacey, Rebecca, Carly, and Heather. We talk about horror movies. We play games. If that is something you are interested in, I'm linking that in the description box down below as well. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!